How's it going guys? Um, today I'm gonna be recording a video about and explaining one of my coolest presets that I've made. Uh, it's so, it's weird, like it, it has no real life uses. It's just, it's just cool sounding. It's made using compressor and side chaining. Uh, it can be done using Ableton pretty easily, but I don't know about uh, other DAWs. You could probably replicate doing the same thing. So yeah, let's get into it. So we have a sound right here. Right? You got that? This is the left right side chain rack that I made. This this audio eff effect rack is basically splitting the sound into two, left and right. If it's mono, it's gonna it's gonna force it to split. Otherwise, it's already in stereo, so uh, the left and right channel are gonna be separated. Right here, there's a this this utility is splitting it, so only the left channel is gonna be playing. And in the in the next rack, uh, in the next chain, it's gonna be playing only the right signal. And then this this glue compressor, what it's doing is side chaining the sound. Whichever sound I pass here, it's gonna be like ducking the right side of the sound only. But the left side is still gonna be playing. I can use this macro to like switch from left and right. Uh, when you do when you turn it up to the right, it, it goes to the right. By doing this, you just like turn off the whole device and it goes through just a dry signal and it like just passes through the whole um, audio effect rack. So for this to actually work, you would need uh, something that will sidechain the sound. This just had like a drum pattern, like a f four on the floor type uh, thing and then I'm gonna... Right? I'm gonna turn it off because it's easier to um, it's easier to hear it, hear the difference without the without it being on. So I'm gonna turn on the side chain. I'm gonna have to link it to the drum rattle and then link it to kick, post effects. Do the same thing to the right. I think it's easier if I rename it uh, right and left. Uh, so there we go. Uh, so I do the same thing over here and I'll link it there. You got you need uh, headphones to be able to hear the difference. That's because it's uh, it's in stereo right now and. Right now, it's uh, the left channel is on. So the right channel is being ducked like crazy right now. And that is because I have like reduced the threshold all the way. To show you what it's actually doing, I I'm going to render it out. And you can see what it's, what, what, what's actually happening. So as you can see, uh, it's wherever the kick is coming in it's ducking only the right side so yeah that could be uh that could be one of the cool ways you can achieve something now i'm going to show you another thing another variation of the same uh same sort of effect i made which is mid side instead of just left right and i think i'm going to do it right in front of you guys So for this to work, I would have to like split the audio file way. I got to make it wide. So I'll just uh, increase the width. So by now we definitely have a difference between the mid and side for sure. We could even test it out right here by uh, dropping in the utility mid side mode, right? And this is going to be playing only the side frequencies. The side channels, sorry. There's a lot. And then go back to mid. There's still a bunch there. So we have a lot to work with. All right, how do we do this? Uh, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna have to drop an empty effect rack. 
just need like four I think um, then I need a utility drop it in there this is gonna be my mid uh, we're gonna change that to red and we're gonna add an dirt and another utility this is gonna be side it's gonna be side so together it's gonna sound like how it would sound without this audio rack so to test it out I'm gonna play it and then without the audio effect rack same thing and copy it over and actually rename it mid oh wait that side now we're gonna increase the ratio all the way to infinity because we want maximum grain reduction um, maybe reduce the threshold all the way down to 33 nah next up what do we got we got to sidechain it now I'm gonna name that side yeah we go to side and then turn this and then put it on that So the trick to using this uh, audio effect is messing with the macros and and like having at least one of the side chains on and the other ones off or like reduced because if you have everything on or everything off, I mean if you have everything off, it's not even it's not even being used. Um, but if you uh, have all of them on, then you won't even hear the contrast between uh, the side chains. But if you have one turned all the way up and one turned down, then you can hear the difference going on and like, could sound interesting. Uh, another way you could like mess with the sound even more is by adding more audio effects like delays, chorus, and all these different things. So yeah, um, if you guys want to download this, it's gonna be linked in the description. Uh, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I truly appreciate you if you made it to the end Check out my socials and my music. It's gonna be in the description I try to do live streams if you want to tune into that. It's gonna be on this channel So yeah, turn on notifications too if you want to be notified and in the stream Yeah, it's gonna be great. All right. See you guys